Today we're going to talk about how to name the different place values all the way up to this large place value over here to the left. However, we're going to start on the right here and work our way to the left, naming each of these place values. Before we start doing that, I want to point out some things called periods. So as you can see, each of these sections has a comma between them. And these are what we refer to when we're talking about periods. So let's name those first. This first set of three numbers where we see the seven, eight, nine is the ones period. This second set here in the middle where we see four, five, and six, this is the thousands period. And then the third set over here on the left with the one, two, three is the millions period. And those are going to come in handy when we start talking about the individual place values, the names of the place values. So let's start here. Like I said, we're going to start on the right hand side where the nine is. So let's talk about what this place value is. So when we are counting, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, right? Once we go beyond nine, then we start getting into two digit numbers like 10, where we have two digits. This is why these place values are named this way. So this first place value is the ones place. Now it's called the ones place because we can fit single digits in here. Once we get up to nine, then we have to go to the next place value, which is the tens place. And it's called the tens place because 10 is the first number that we count when we start counting in this second place value. So we start counting 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 99, right? 99 is the last two digit number that we count. So all of these numbers, we would have that second digit that's in the tens place. So let's write out our tens here. This eight is in the tens place. We're going to place this word right here to indicate this is our tens place. Now let's think about what number comes after 99. The next number that we count is 100. So that is our next place value. This is the hundreds place. So when we are counting from 100, we can count all the way to 999 before we get to the next place value, before we need that fourth number. All of these numbers in between 100 and 99 have three digits in them. So this is the hundreds place. Now let's talk about that next digit that we see after 999. That's 1000. So that's where we need those four digits. So this next number is the thousands place. So something that I want you to notice here, when we were talking about the periods up here, the ones place is the first place value that we see for the ones period. And then the thousands is the first period is the first place value that we see in the thousands period. And this will make a little bit more sense as we go on. So thousands, we're going to place that right here underneath this six. And so let's talk about what numbers we count when we're counting the thousands. We can count all the way to 9,999. And then we go to the next place value which is the ten thousands. So the ten thousands the ten thousands place 
I want you to try to notice a little bit of a pattern here. We've got the ten thousands place here. Let me underline the five. The first place value in the ones period is the ones place, and then the second number is the tens place. So let's see if we can find a pattern with that in the thousands period. The first place value that we see is the thousands place, and the second one we see is the ten thousands place. So you should see a little bit of a pattern as we complete these place values. So when we are counting in the ten thousands place, we can count all the way up to 99,999 before we reach the hundred thousands place. One hundred thousand would be our next number that we would be counting. So the next place value is the hundred thousands place. So let's move this and again, see if you can find those patterns between the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. I hope that you're able to see that there. We've got the tens repeated here and the hundreds repeated here. Okay, let's keep counting. So after 100,000, we can count all the way up to 999,999 before we reach the next place value, which is the millions place. So there's one million, that's the next number that we count, and that's this place value here, millions. So we're going to go ahead and put that in that spot where that three is. The three is in the millions place. Now we're going to keep counting. We can count all the way to 9,999,999. And then our next number is 10 million. 10 million is our next number, 10 millions. is our place value name. I also want to point out here that I am adding an S at the end of all of these place value names. When we're naming the place values, each of them has an S at the end. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, and you guessed it, this place value will also have an S at the end of it. So let's actually talk about what that next number is or what that next place value is. When we're counting 10 million, we can go all the way to 99,999,999. And our next place value is the 100 millions place. So 100 million is the next number that we count after this number that I have here. And then this is the 100 millions place. So we are going to go ahead and line that up with the one here. The one is in the 100 millions place value. So let's also take a look at these patterns again. Let me remove this line here. So I want to make sure that we go over these patterns. In the ones period, we start off with the ones place. And notice that we're working from right to left. We're going from this direction over. In the thousands period, we're starting off with the thousands place value. In the millions period, we're starting off with the millions place value. Then the second one over is the tens place. So we've got the tens, then we've got the ten thousands, then we've got the ten millions. And that pattern continues with the hundreds, then we have the hundred thousands, and then we have the hundred millions. So I hope that that helps you with learning your different names for each place value.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you would please like and subscribe, that would help me out a lot. That helps me to continue making these videos for you all. Until next time, take care.